Music classes across the country have had to do things a little differently this year, like moving them outdoors. The Tent Guys were approached by the Catholic School Division to see if there was a possibility to make sure the students can practice in a safe and efficient way. So much has been taken away from the kids and all of us with COVID that it was really important to be able to give back. And this is one small way that we were able to help many kids because all of the kids across the division are able to utilize this in the band program. And it's an important part of growing up. Music means a lot to us and it's a way of expression. And it was wonderful to be able to give back to these kids. Through a generous donation of $25,000 in kind, three large wedding-sized tents which normally fit 150 people were spaced out safely to support entire classrooms. The donation has given every music class in the Catholic School Division a place of comfort and success for the music programs while providing a unique situation being outdoors. Well, I think it's just been an extraordinary support of our community and, and our music programs all the way from grade 5 to grade 12. It's interesting. Some days you'll have three groups of band out here and a track team competing outside at the same time. And other days when there's a little bit of rain and you walk out in the parking lot, you still hear the music. You know, it keeps our programs going. And, and it's something like a performing arts like band, it's the consistency in, in playing is where you get that real growth. So the fact that they didn't really have any uh, cancellations or stoppages in, the, in their programs, uh, you know, they're seeing great growth in their programs like they would in any other year. Beecott and her husband know the significance of giving back in a way like this through their business, specifically to a program like music, which means a lot to many students, and they're hopeful that students today look back on this time and are thankful that they were able to still do band during COVID. I think, I hope the kids look back on this and are appreciative that they were able to go ahead and do it. I know in some of the other um, schools around the Lloydminster area, they aren't able to practice band traditionally. They're having to do some different things. So, um, you know, if we're able to have that positive spin, we're, we're really proud to be a part of that.